Today, we find ourselves face to face with one of the most fascinating and astonishing spiders in the arachnid kingdom, the bull spider, also known as Distera crocata. With its formidable fangs and unique appearance, this hunter specializes in hard-shelled prey. Despite its modest size, it is one of the most efficient and precise spiders, striking fear into other spiders. This is an earwig, also known as Forficula auricularia. Belonging to the order Dermaptera, it is distinguished by the long pincers on its abdomen. In previous videos, we've witnessed the extraordinary skills of this earwig in action, and how even the cunning web-weaving spider struggled to capture it. Despite web-weaving spiders being masters at catching their prey and rarely missing, they are creatures with a defensive capability yet to be fully understood, ready to surprise anyone who dares to challenge them. But what would happen if the earwig's pincers came face to face with the sharp, massive chelic array of the bull spider? We see how, as soon as the earwig senses the spider's presence, it goes on high alert, raising and displaying its pincers as a clear warning that approaching would be a bad idea. However, the Distera decides to test the earwig's patience and defensive abilities. The spider moves closer, crossing all red lines, and then the inevitable happens. The earwig reacts instantly, shoving the spider forcefully, prompting the Distera to respond swiftly, lunging toward it and reaching it with its fangs, though not fully using them. Now, the spider knows exactly who it's up against. The earwig's pincers, besides being a vital tool for defense and hunting, also play a key role in the mating process where they are used to hold on to their partner. We see how the insect swiftly turns around every time the spider gets close, creating a solid and effective defense, almost impenetrable. The spider unleashes a flurry of bites, but ineffectively, as each attempt is met head-on by the massive pincers. But pay close attention, because the earwig then takes on the role of predator, moving closer and closer to the spider, shaking its pincers forcefully and forcing the spider to retreat. Earwigs are excellent climbers, capable of scaling vertical surfaces with ease, thanks to their strong grip. This ability allows them to move quickly in the wild seeking shelter or hunting prey in the most inaccessible places. Watch as the spider spreads its fangs in an intimidating display, but it knows that one wrong move could lead to a fatal outcome trapped in the earwig's powerful pincers. The Distera crocata wields a potent venom used to paralyze and break down its prey, primarily pill bugs. This spider is known as the bull spider due to its aggressive behavior. It charges forcefully, not only at its prey, but also at other members of its species or even different genera before mating. This behavior ensures its dominance and control within its territory. The earwig takes charge trying to drive the spider away, even going as far as grabbing it with its pincers in an attempt to push it out of its territory. Earwigs often live in communities, gathering in groups where they cooperate to find shelter and food. They are omnivorous, making use of any decaying material, such as organic debris and insects. Each time the spider tries to move forward, it is met head-on by the efficient earwig. 
pay close attention to these images, as we are about to witness the true strength of the earwig in action. The pincers of these insects are a true threat to other arthropods. Even though they aren't sharp, they exert such intense pressure that they can crush. After this display of skills, it's time to feed them both. To feed the earwigs, I've decided to use three different types of food to confirm that they are omnivorous and to find out which type of food they prefer to eat. For this, I used a piece of kiwi, something refreshing and sweet, a mealworm, which provides protein and fat, and a chestnut, something dry and rich in fiber, to offer a variety of foods and see which one they prefer to eat. Uninvited, a fly snuck into the terrarium, drawn by the feast. I decided to let it eat, watching as it joined the small dining community. One of the earwigs showed a strong attraction to the kiwi right from the start, even though it had never tasted it before, while the other earwig focused on the chestnut, exploring its texture and flavor. I was able to closely observe their strong mandibles in action, crushing the chestnut with impressive ease, showcasing the power of their grip. The other earwig seemed to tire quickly of the kiwi and decided to take things a step further, choosing to eat the mealworm drawn by its protein and energy content. It seems this food was quite to its liking as it frantically ate, savoring each bite with remarkable speed. The second earwig spent a good while savoring the chestnut before moving on to its second course. But then, the other earwig did something unexpected. It raised its pincers, signaling that the mealworm was exclusively its own and that it had no intention of sharing. So, I decided to give them some water, as, like most insects, they occasionally drink. The earwig eagerly accepted the water drinking quickly as if it were an urgent necessity. And, of course, I also offered food to the Distera, which accepted it immediately. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content.